The James Webb Space Telescope is commended as the boss in everyday observatories in the field of space science, separating itself through unequal capacities like no other instrument before it. The Webb Telescope's main goal is huge and critical, empowering the investigation of our own planetary system while reaching far beyond to explore distant universes and stars light years away. Its essential objective is not only to observe these celestial bodies, but also to delve deep into the fundamental workings of the universe, aiming to understand the complex intricacies of the cosmos and, in essence, our place within it. In a critical effort, Researchers recently pointed the telescope's powerful gaze toward a star located 120 light-years from Earth. The discoveries from this observation have been nothing short of astonishing. The telescope revealed evidence of carbon-based molecules in the atmosphere of what could be a water-covered world beyond our planet, a phenomenal discovery that has left the academic community amazed. This revelation prompts us to ask, how is such an incredible finding even possible? It provides us with a tantalizing glimpse of a planet vastly different from any in our nearby solar system, challenging our understanding and raising exciting questions about the potential for habitable worlds in the universe. This discovery marks the beginning of a journey to uncover even more about this remarkable exoplanet. For those intrigued by the mysteries of the universe and eager to stay informed about such groundbreaking developments, we urge you to subscribe to our channel. That way, you can ensure you're always updated on the latest significant discoveries. Be sure to share this video with others to spread the information and activate the notification bell so you never miss an update. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has recently made a crucial and profoundly significant discovery concerning the exoplanet known as K2-18b. This exoplanet, which has a mass of around 8.6 times that of Earth, has been the subject of intense investigation. The Webb Telescope's advanced sensors have detected the presence of carbon-based compounds, specifically methane and carbon dioxide, in the atmosphere of K2-18b. This finding builds upon previous research and supports the hypothesis that K2-18b could be a planet with conditions favorable for life. The presence of a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, combined with what appears to be an ocean-covered surface, suggests that this exoplanet could indeed be capable of supporting life or at least conditions conducive to it. Initial assessments of K2-18b's atmosphere properties were carried out with a Hubble Space Telescope, which significantly improved our understanding of this distant world, located 120 light-years away in the constellation Leo. K2-18b orbits a cool, small star known as K2-18, which is situated in the so-called habitable zone, the region around a star where conditions might be favorable for liquid water and possibly life. Planets like K2-18b, which fall between Earth and Neptune in size, form a rare and fascinating class, especially considering that our own nearby solar system lacks similar planets. The scarcity of such planets makes K2-18b a particularly important subject for study. The fact that K2-18b harbors significant amounts of carbon and exists within a hydrogen-rich atmosphere is particularly interesting to astronomers. Some experts speculate that such planets could provide the most promising conditions in the search for extraterrestrial life. The unique combination of methane and carbon dioxide in K2-18b's atmosphere along with a notable absence of ammonia, lends further credibility to the possibility that this exoplanet could indeed have oceans beneath its hydrogen-dominated atmosphere. Early observations also indicated the possible presence of a compound known as dimethyl sulfide, which on Earth is produced exclusively by biological processes, particularly those involving marine phytoplankton. The presence of dimethyl sulfide in K2-18b's atmosphere if confirmed, would be an extraordinary sign of possible life. However, current data on dimethyl sulfide is inconclusive, and more comprehensive evidence is needed to validate this. Future observations using the Webb telescope are expected to provide further clarity on this, potentially confirming the presence of dimethyl sulfide in significant quantities. A researcher from the University of Cambridge has commented on the implications of these discoveries, 
noting that while K2-18b is indeed situated within a habitable zone and contains carbon compounds, this does not necessarily mean that the planet can support life. The planet size, with a radius 2.6 times that of Earth, suggests that its core is likely surrounded by a large high-pressure mantle of ice similar to Neptune's structure. This indicates that while K2-18b may have a thinner hydrogen-rich atmosphere and an ocean-covered surface, the conditions within these oceans may be too extreme or unsuitable for life as we know it. Nevertheless, scientists have succeeded in capturing the most detailed atmospheric spectrum ever obtained for a sub-Neptune planet, allowing them to determine the chemical composition of its atmosphere with astounding precision. A scientist from Cardiff University explained that this achievement was made possible by carefully analyzing the light emitted by K2-18b's host star as it passed through the exoplanet's atmosphere. K2-18b is classified as a transiting exoplanet, meaning its brightness dims when it passes in front of its host star from our perspective. This dimming is how NASA's K2 mission first detected K2-18b. The transit method allows a small fraction of the star's light to filter through the exoplanet's atmosphere before reaching telescope instruments like Webb's, enabling astronomers to study the composition of the atmosphere by analyzing these light signals. Moving forward, the research team plans to use the Webb telescope's mid-infrared spectrograph to further investigate K2-18BS atmospheric conditions with the hope of confirming their initial findings and revealing new information about the planet's atmosphere. Their ultimate goal is to detect signs of subsurface activity on potentially habitable exoplanets, a task that could fundamentally change how we understand the universe and our place within it. In addition to its study of K2-18b, the James Webb Space Telescope has also made other significant discoveries that continue to expand our understanding of the universe. For instance, Astronomers using the Webb telescope have detected complex organic molecules in a distant galaxy, similar in nature to the smoke or haze we observe on Earth. This discovery marks the earliest known occurrence of such molecules in the universe, representing a major milestone in human history. These findings are both surprising and significant, as they challenge our understanding of cosmology and suggest that the universe was capable of producing complexity much earlier than previously thought. To provide some context, the light that astronomers detected from this early universe began its journey less than 1.5 billion years after the Big Bang, while the universe itself is now around 13.8 billion years old. This means we are observing the early stages of the universe's development, so to speak. The most remarkable aspect of this discovery is that it was made possible by the James Webb Space Telescope, which has the potential to make such observations for almost a billion more years. As we push the boundaries of our knowledge further back in time, we may yet uncover even more of these complex molecules, perhaps from a time much closer to the Big Bang. This raises important questions about our understanding of physics and cosmology. Until the arrival of Webb, Past efforts to detect complex organic molecules in ancient galaxies could only confirm their absence. However, Webb's primary mission now allows us to pinpoint the exact locations of these molecules within the universe, providing insights into their distribution and concentration. Interestingly, the uneven distribution of these molecules in the early universe, known as SP4111847, remains a mystery that scientists have yet to fully unravel. Even more strikingly, this early universe, despite being only one-tenth the age of our Milky Way, was already as massive as our own galaxy and had produced as much carbon and oxygen as the stars in the Milky Way. As humanity continues to explore the universe, armed with ever-expanding knowledge and a deeper understanding of the cosmos, we are constantly reminded of the vastness and complexity of the universe. Each new scientific discovery brings us one step closer to unraveling the secrets hidden among the stars. As our body of cosmic knowledge grows, it is only a matter of time before the universe reveals even more of its mysteries, offering new insights into the profound questions we strive to answer. As we continue to explore the universe with advanced tools like the James Webb Space Telescope, 
New discoveries are constantly reshaping our understanding of astronomical phenomena, potentially leading to insights into the early universe and the development of cosmic structures. For example, the Webb Telescope's ability to capture images and data from extremely distant galaxies offers a glimpse into the conditions that existed shortly after the Big Bang. This knowledge could help scientists unlock the mysteries of cosmic formation, star development, and planet creation, providing a clearer picture of the early universe and its subsequent evolution. The exploration of exoplanets like K2-18b is particularly exciting because it opens up new possibilities for understanding life beyond Earth.